Welcome to the new Humble Growth Headquarters. Recently moved my family to a more permanent spot where I'm gonna set up some really amazing gardens. In fact, I finally have an opportunity to set up my ultimate indoor hydroponic gardens for both vegetative and for flowering. So, so the first one I'm gonna be doing is a series of videos taking you through setting up my cyberpunk themed office garden. And in today's video, I'm showing you my crystal deep water culture Meyer lemon garden. So let's get right into it. First off, right off the bat, a little bit of a disclaimer. This garden is more of an educational piece. Uh, in other words, what I'm trying to say here is I'm growing this one with the intention of running into quite a few problems. I wanna try out new creative alternative solutions to dealing with things like root rot and algae that I'm likely gonna run into with a clear vessel like this. So I can't really say that I would advise uh, using a clear, like a glass or a crystal container for your water and your nutrients because you're gonna run into quite a, quite a few issues. If you wanna see the issues I'm gonna run into, then subscribe to this channel because I'm kind of changing the structure of Humble Growth Hydroponics. I'm gonna be documenting things every day and sharing them with you on daily videos as well as putting together these vlogumentary style videos from seed to harvest. So let's take a closer look at the crystal garden. To make this garden, I treated it just like a deep water culture. Uh, I just released a video and there's a guide over on Humble Growth Hydroponics that's linked up in the description for setting up a deep water culture. So make sure you check out those resources and you can set up this crystal garden the exact same way. This is just a six gallon glass, not actually crystal, vase that I just mix my nutrients in a five gallon bucket and then dump them into here. Once I have my nutrients in here and I set my EC and my pH to where I wanted it to be, I lowered in two massive air stones. I'm gonna be moving air through this garden to keep things circulating. It's gonna help prevent that algae and prevent the root rot. Certainly not gonna keep it from happening, but it will offer a little more of a chance to the roots. Because root rot can't really survive in a high oxygenated environment. And as you can see here, there's a literal bottlenecking happening with the bubbles where they're all concentrating towards the roots at the top. This will help to prevent root rot from growing on the roots. I also added a dash of 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide. And in order to fit the air stones in there, I actually had to cut the net pot and kind of squeeze it in. I think with all the other shiny, sparkly parts of this garden, people are gonna be looking at the cut that I made in the net cup. And this is a Meyer lemon plant that I've grown from seed. I got the seed from a Meyer lemon that I bought from the store and have grown this from that seed. I wanna keep this in vegetation as long as possible, so there will be a time though when I will have to move it over to my flowering garden, which I'm gonna show you guys here in just a few weeks. For now, let's keep it under this really awesome blue and purple lighting. Let me talk a little bit about that. The reason that I decided to go for the cyberpunk theme is if you look up cyberpunk themed anything, you'll notice they use purple and blue lighting a lot in that theme, and I really like the way it looks. And as it turns out, that purple UVA light and blue light are really, really great for plants that are in the vegetative stage. They make plants grow nice and bushy and compact and keep them from stretching and getting too long. And that's exactly what I want in my vegetation garden. In this garden, I'm gonna grow microgreens, my sprouts. This is where I'm gonna start all of my seeds. I'm also gonna grow all of my plants that stay in vegetation, like lettuce, my herbs, my leafy greens and the plants that start off in vegetation and then move over to flowering are also gonna start in here and then they're gonna move over to the flowering garden. This crystal deep water culture being one of those. So I let three days go by and I checked back. You can already see there's some pretty gnarly pythium starting to build up on the air stones. I'm guessing I don't, I don't think I cleaned everything well enough when I put it all together. So I'm gonna apply the information that I put together in the root rot guide for you guys. And uh, you'll have to check out the next video to see how that goes. Until then, Let's grow together. Mm -hmm. 